Good morning, everybody. Marsman here. Uh, this morning, I'm working on some carrier aqua snap uh, chillers. I'm going to go through a couple of functions here with you on exactly how to go about checking for alarms, how to clear alarms, and general testing operations of each circuit, and how to test that through the uh, through the uh, carrier controller uh, as well as I've noticed on a lot of videos um, that has to do with carrier uh, aqua snaps that nobody ever tends to go through the functions on the uh, motor master controls the VFDs for the condensing fan motors so this is basically what it looks like here I have two of them uh, that we're going to be going through today. This is the other one. Um, I've already opened up the uh, control panel on this one. And as you can see, it's in an alarm. So what we're going to do is use our control to scroll to alarms. It's going to ask you current for the current alarm. You'll hit enter. It'll tell you what it is, which is T117. And then if you hit escape and enter simultaneously, it'll give you a full readout of what that alarm is. Current B, low, cooler, suction, temperature. So that's basically what that alarm is. It'll tell you exactly what it is, T117 escape and enter simultaneously circuit B low cooler suction temperature so what we're gonna do is hit escape hit escape again back to where it says current if you hit the down arrow it'll have it'll ask you if you'd like to reset the current uh, reset current uh, alarm what you're gonna do is hit enter until it blinks it'll ask you for your passcode pretty much every single uh, one of these is all ones you'll scroll to yes hit enter now that'll let us know that we've officially reset our alarm as you can see the indicator went away escape all the way we can go back to run status now what I want to do is I want to run this and test each one of these uh, compressors as well as the condenser fan motors I've already verified voltage and uh, checked all the fuses and all that good stuff uh, but mainly what I'd like to get into uh, a little later are these motor masters um, not a lot of videos on how to operate them what to do most people don't really know what to do with them so let's jump into it what we want to do is escape from run status. Our main switch power needs to be on. That's our control switch. And then this is our uh, uh, communication switch. Enable down, center is off, or remote control, which is right here. Uh, what we're going to do is leave it in the off position. Scroll down to service test. It says off. Let's hit enter again and scroll up till it says on and hit enter. That will accept your uh, test mode. Excuse me. <coughs> so once you're in test mode, then you can bring your switch back down to enable. Hit escape. It says service test is on. I just heard our relay click. We're going to scroll down to compressor A, hit enter, compressor circuit A1. We have A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, and B3. So we have six compressors inside this uh, chiller. So we're, gonna, we're on compressor circuit A1. What we're going to do is hit enter until it blinks. Scroll up until it says on. Hit enter. 
and that will energize circuit A. Circuit A is now on. That'll allow us to then go in and check our amps. Currently operating at 16.9, 17. Our condenser fans just came on. Um, with that being said, once we have our compressor on, you really don't have to hook up your gauges unless you have something suspicious going on. So, oh, we got another alarm. So let's scroll down and see what that is. Enter, escape, enter. Our current alarm is T203. Loss of communications between chillers. <clears throat> Since I've switched it off, um, that disconnected our communication between this chiller and that chiller. So we're just gonna go ahead and reset that. Reset, yes. Escape, our alarm's gone. So we're still in test mode and circuit A1, or compressor A1 is on. Again, like I was saying, instead of hooking up your gauges, uh, you can go scroll down to where you see pressures hit enter we are on circuit a hit enter discharge pressure on a circuit hit enter and that'll give you your reading 269 psi on our discharge if we hit escape and scroll down here's our suction pressure which is 111 this is a r410a system so our pressures are going to be much greater than as if it were an R22. But very simple way of checking your pressures without even having to uh, hook up your gauges to each circuit. Uh, keep in mind, of course, compressor A1, A2, and A3 are all tied together. So our pressures should be relatively the same uh, on each compressor. Um, so let's scroll through now. What we're gonna do is go back to uh, service test mode. We're gonna scroll down to compressor A, A1, which is on, hit enter. We're gonna go ahead and shut that off. Hit escape again, and if you scroll down, if you hit enter, you'll see compressor A, hit that, then you have A2, A3, so on and so forth. If you escape back, compressor B, hit enter, B1, B2, and B3. So we're gonna go ahead and run compressor A2, since we've already done one, hit enter, go ahead and turn that on, switch off to on, and hit enter. Now, circuit two, or compressor two, circuit one should come on. We can go ahead and check our amps. And then, of course, you're going to check each leg. If some companies just want an average, give them an average of the three legs. <laughs> um, and then again, it's just repetitive between each compressor A1, A2, A3. B1, B2, B3, and then again, very simple way, we can go escape out, go to pressures, hit enter, we're still checking circuit A, hit enter, discharge pressure is 295, escape, suction pressure A is 118. And that's pretty much it. It's a repetitive uh, uh, sequence to go through each compressor without having to check your gate, without having to attach your gauges to any of the circuits. The only time you would do that is if you uh, really have some funky readings going on and it's a little suspicious, then you might want to actually hook up your gauges and verify that they actually match up between your manifold set 
and what we're reading out here on our uh, on our uh, display. Uh, the comfort links are very easy to operate with and uh, extremely uh, helpful uh, without even really needing a whole lot of tools. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Circuit A. We're going to go back to service test. Compressor A, compressor A2 is the one that is on. We're going to go ahead and shut that off. Off. Done. Escape, escape. We have another alarm. Enter, current alarm, 203. Loss of communications. So just a, a redundant alarm that, that's never ending between uh, this chiller and that chiller. Uh, nevertheless, we're just going to go ahead and uh, reset this. Keeps going off because of what I'm doing. Done. Escape, escape, escape. We're going to switch that back off. What I want to get into with you guys, uh, because I know there is not a lot of videos with uh, the Carrier Motor Masters, uh, we're going to go through a couple of steps here. Uh, first off, what you want to do in order to access any of the parameters on uh, the Motor Master itself, you want to hit mode until you see the two zeros with the blinking dot at the top. And I believe all these are the same unless a technician are, uh, changed it to personalize the password. But all the passwords on these should be 111. Once you've entered the passcode, hit mode again. Now this will allow you to enter the parameters. Each parameter, of course, is uh, for whatever the case may be. So uh, parameter 5, P05, enter, is for your auto control. Um, so P05, hit enter, and that's for your automatic control. If you want to take it, um, if you want to disable auto control, you would change the P05 from whatever its current setting is down to 01 and then hit mode again. And that'll allow you to operate the drive manually versus uh, through auto, um, auto communication. Um, again, if we, we're gonna leave that back at four for auto, hit mode again it'll bring you right back to P05. Um, if we scroll all the way up to P50, P50 is going to be our fault history. So if there are any faults in the uh, Motor Master itself, it'll allow you to read uh, the last, I believe, eight faults that have occurred with this particular drive. So again, P50 um, is our fault history and will give you the last eight faults that have been stored um, inside the drive, uh, letting you know exactly what occurred. Uh, if we go to P51, that is going to be our software version. This will tell you exactly what version we're operating with, which is a 96-05. Uh, that just lets you know what the version. Um, P52, sorry, uh, hit mode. P52 is going to be our DC bus voltage. Uh, right now, everything's off, nothing's operating, uh, just so you can hear me a little better on this thing. Um, so again, P52 is going to be our DC bus voltage. P54 is going to be our load. Right now it's at zero because nothing's running. Uh, P55 is going to be our uh, uh, volts DC input. Zero because nothing's operating. Hit mode again. Um, P56 is gonna be our milliamps input. <clears throat> and that'll give you a reading there. Um, Again, I just wanted to make a short video on this guy uh, because I don't really see a whole lot out there. So hopefully this uh, helps you out in any way possible. 
Um, again, just remember the main thing, if you uh, don't touch the MotorMaster at all, um, it will uh, exit out um, and get rid of the passcode. So after two minutes of not touching it, you'll then have to hit mode again. Go in uh, when you see zero, zero with the blinking dot, scroll up until it reads 111, 111, hit mode again now your password has been accepted and that'll allow you to now start scrolling through your parameters and find what you're looking for um, that's pretty much it I mean for the most part these are uh, great chillers um, I don't really seem to have a lot of issues with these uh, these were manufactured back in 2013 um, and they both work great other than the uh, loss of communication a lot of a lot of BAS problems but has nothing to do with the uh, system as a whole so I really hope that this video has been demonstrational for you and gave you a little bit more knowledge than what you originally had um, if there's anything you can think of or any questions feel free to uh, drop a comment and I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I can. Uh, again, this is Mars Man here with uh, Carrier Aqua Snap Chillers. And uh, hopefully you learned a lot about the Motor Masters, or at least more than you have. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Be safe out there. Thank you.